Hello everyone, Crafty Mama here. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Well, what I have going on for you today is we are going to make a tab bound envelope book. I've been dying to try one of these tab bound junk journals. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I'll show you a quick look at the supplies you need. You can stop the video if you want, but these are the basic supplies, most of which you'll have on hand probably. So I am using 17 envelopes in my junk journal that I copy dyed and I easily copy dye by putting some instant coffee and water in a spray bottle. I get out a cookie sheet and I spray them front and back and I let them air dry usually. And if they're a little wonky, I put them between some heavy books to take care of that. Now my envelopes are in two sizes, but they're just a little off from each other. I'm using envelopes that are seven and three eighths high by five and one eighth wide and seven and one eighth high by five and one eighth wide. Now you can use any size envelopes you prefer. So your cover dimensions might be different than mine. I'm using envelopes that are normally meant for five by seven cards. I used a fabric that had a six different prints pattern, like the squares are six different prints on them. I thought it was kind of neat. I already made my cover and put the fabric on it. And I just used comic board for my cover. Um, that's just what I had on hand. I also put a ribbon on my front and back cover because I wanted a ribbon closure. And for the front cover, I turned the pattern sideways and it made a diamond pattern. So I thought that was kind of neat. So I have both my covers and I gave you the sizes for those in case you're using the same size envelopes. And then I also made my fabric strips. Now I decided to use three different types of fabric strips, this blue, and then I have um, some that are white that I stamped on, like a muslin off-white. I just stamped on them with a regular stamp and an ink. And then I use some that coordinate with the fabric on my covers. Now I made my strips about two inches or so long by one inch high or so. They're not all perfectly the same size. Some are a little bit longer, um, not much, and some are a little bit higher. I wanted to mention real quick, if you put a design, stamp a design, or put a sticker or something on your envelopes before you put your book together, just make sure your pages are going in the right direction when you're binding them together. So I'm going to start with the envelope that's going to be attached to my back cover first, known as my end paper. I have an end paper and then I have one that will attach to my front cover. And I have my envelopes, put them off to the side, and I'm going to flip that over. And I'm going to start on the right side of that envelope where I'm pointing with my finger and I'm going to attach my first three tabs. And you want to attach them maybe a quarter inch, half inch from the top and from the bottom, depending on your envelope size. If you're using different sized envelopes, which you can with this tab binding, you just want to make sure that your tabs are going to fit on the envelope as you're doing it. So I'm attaching my three tabs and I've got one at the top, one in the middle and one at the bottom. I'm going to attach them with glue. I'm using tacky glue. And you're only going to add glue on half of the tab. And you see me putting it on there now. And I'm going to add, put my first tab on as we begin here. Get some nice glue on there. And I just put it up at the top, like I said, quarter inch or half an inch, depending on the size envelopes. If you're using all the same envelopes, it's not going to be a big deal, but if you're using shorter envelopes and larger envelopes, just be careful where you space your tabs so they all will fit on the envelopes you're using. And I'm going to do my next tab here, which is the middle tab, and place that on there. And do a little smush. It kind of helps spread the glue better and get the tab on there. Call it a smush. Place that down and then I've got one more tab to go. You don't have to use different tabs. You don't have to use fabric. You can use washi tape, fabric tape, or, or fabric like I am. It was just easier. I had a lot of fabric on hand and I like how these look together with my cover that I made for this book. I'm going to move this one a little bit. That's why I use tacky glue. It's not quite in the center where I want it. So I'll move it really quick and place it back down. And now I've got my first three tabs on the first page, which is the back page actually. 
So now we take this first envelope, which is the back side, and we flip it over so that the tabs are now facing you on the left side. And we're going to put our second envelope down. I gotta move my envelopes. Hang on, bear with me just a sec here. And what we wanna do is we want to center them. And this is my shorter envelope by a quarter inch. So I'm kind of trying to center it on the bigger envelope. And we're gonna add two tabs on this envelope in between the three tabs we just put. And I'll put my two tabs down. So I'll show you what I mean. Cause we're gonna keep flipping and gluing tabs. So I'm gonna put a tab right in between those, the top one and right in between the bottom ones. It's a three and a two system. And I'm gonna glue those to the envelope. Again, taking the tab and gluing half of it, half on the envelope, half off the envelope, and in between my three tabs, I'm putting two tabs on my second envelope. So again, I glue Again, I do a little smush just to kind of spread it out a little bit. And at this stage, it's pretty important that you glue your two tabs and they have room to fit in between the three tabs. Because as you go along, you're going to want to make all your envelopes that you are using fit in between these tabs when you are doing them like this, the three and the two. It's just three and two, three and two. And I've got those two down. And I've got them where I want them. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm just waiting a second, you know, let the glue adhere a little bit. And now I am going to flip the one I just added two tabs to. I'm going to flip that over onto the page that's got the three tabs. And you line up your envelopes as best you can. Depending on this, if you're just using one size or multiple sizes, just make sure your tabs are in between each other. You got enough room. And I'm going to put glue on the tabs that I need to put, which is the three tabs now. And I'm just doing it this way because it's easier for me. I just left it right there. I'm sticking glue right down. This is easy to do when you're doing the first so many pages. It gets a little harder to do it the way I'm doing it now when you get a bunch of pages, a bunch of envelopes going. And I'm just going to take those three tabs and I'm going to pull them over. Now you don't want to pull super tight, but you want to be firm, just a good amount of pressure. You don't want them real loose. Just pull them over and don't worry about it. Just don't pull super tight. That's all I'm trying to say here. So I'm putting these three tabs on this page and I got them glued down here. And so I'm going to move this over because I need to pull another envelope over. And how many tabs do we need here? Right, we need three because we got two showing. So I need to put the three tabs on this side. It's simple. Start with three tabs, flip, do two tabs, flip, do three tabs, and so on and so forth. I think you get the idea. So I'm just placing down my three tabs here the colors that I want of my tabs because I'm using different colored material for the tabs. And I'm just going to place them down where they should go, matching them up with the three I put on the previous envelope. And I'll be right back after I glue them down. So now I have my three tabs glued down. Again, here we go. We are going to flip. We are going to flip. And since we flipped the three tab envelope, we're going to have to glue two tabs. We're going to glue the second tab and the fourth tab, or however you want to say it. <laughs> the two tabs, that aren't the three tabs. How's that? No, I'm kidding. And that's just how it goes, so on and so forth. And it just continues on like that. Until you have all your envelopes that you want attached with your tabs. Now I'm going to continue on and finish doing all my envelopes and I will come back and I will show you how to make some pockets and then how to attach this all to your covers. Be right back. So I have finished putting my book together and I got some place markers for where I want to put pockets. 
You can do this after you attach your covers, but I want to do it before. And on this one, I want to make a double pocket. So here's how we're going to do this. To make a double pocket, I'm going to get out my glue, of course. You need some glue for this. And I'm going to glue, put some glue right down the middle in the center. Just right down the middle. And then I'm going to put glue just on the outside of the flap. And that's all you need to do. And I'm going to put that flap down as soon as I get it all glued the way I like it. And you will see how I create a double pocket. It's very easy. So I got the glue down now. Let me just put the envelope flap down. And I'm going to need to give it a minute to dry a little. And I will show you how I create this pocket. So here is the envelope flap we just glued. And somehow this didn't come on the camera. But all I did is went up and just did a little teeny cut all along the edge of the page. You can see how big I cut. Not much at all. And that created the pockets for me. And I'll show you here. And you can just have them like this if you want. But if you do happen to have a circle punch, and I'm going to show you what I do here. I have a one inch circle punch and I'm going to put a pocket notch. That's what I call it. You go halfway up and I'm trying to get it in the middle of each pocket because there's two pockets now. And you just cut a little bit there. And then do the other side, just trying to make sure you center them in each side of both of the pockets. And as you see, I got a place for two pieces of ephemera. And that is our first set of pockets. Our next pocket will be a top pocket. This is very simply done. I have to turn my page a little by just cutting a little off the top of an envelope instead of the side. And as you can see, very easily done. I'm not going to put a notch in this because I think I'm going to cover some of these envelopes with some pretty uh, scrapbook paper. But as you can see, it fits in there. I'll do it afterwards when I cover it with scrapbook paper. But this is a 5x7 card front. It's perfect. Of course, you can also make a large side pocket just by cutting a little bit off the side, left or right, and put some ephemera in it. There's a few other ideas to make easy pockets. This is just a piece of music paper. I cut it in angle. And it's my coffee dyed music paper. You could put it on one side or the other to make a good sized pocket on your page. That is one way. Here is another way. You can take a uh, envelope. This is just a smaller size envelope. I cut it down a little bit, inked up the edges, stamped a design on it, and now I can glue it to my page and that will make me a pocket. I also took uh, this right here, which is an index card I have copy dyed. I cut some of it off and I made a little notch at the top. I inked the edges and rounded the corners and this makes a nice little pocket on my page. You can even uh, take a uh, journaling card or a project life card and make an instant pocket by gluing it to your page. And last but not least, I took part of a greeting card I liked, rounded the edges and inked the edges a little bit. And this will make a great pocket. You can make any kind of pocket. Just use your imagination, whatever you like to make. And the last thing I'm going to do in this video is attach my covers. I'm going to get a piece of wax paper to put between one page or the other so that I don't get glue on any other pages but this page. This is like your end paper for your cover. It's going to attach the cover to the rest of your book. Want to make sure you get the edges really good and maybe a little extra on the fabric if you're using fabric to, to attach your envelopes with. And yes, I kind of overdid it on the glue here, but I wanted to make sure it's stuck. I'm pretty sure it's going to stick with all of the glue I just put on. I love glue. So make it this edge of the book, the edge that is with your tabs, not the edge that's this side. That's the open edge. So I've now attached my book to my front cover as you can see I just need to attach the back cover which is similar to the front you line it up the edge of your cover to the edge of the tab side of your book and you glue it down and you make sure you center it with the other cover and I'm going to do that in just a minute 
And when I do that, I will come back and I will show you the completed book. So here's my completed book with all the pages inside and the covers on and the end papers for the front and back covers glued there. And as you can see, I have my ribbon closure. There's still some stuff I want to do yet before it's completely finished. Um, one of the things that I would like to do is I think I want to cover the spine. No, this looks neat. I think I'd like to cover the spine with this fabric right here. But I'm not going to do that yet because I have some other stuff I need to do, like cover the pages with scrapbook paper, make more pockets, and of course glue them in, add some embellishments, and put some ephemera in the pockets. And then I will do, lastly, I will cover the spine because the spine is going to get thicker after I do all that other stuff. I will come back with a video in the very near future to show you what I added in the pockets and things like that. Show you the inside, everything that I completed. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give the tab binding a try. I found it to be fun and easy to do. I like how the book turned out so far. And let's see what I come up with to put all inside it. Well, that's it. That's all I have for you in this video. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me, Crafty Mama. Till next time, next video. Bye-bye for now.